सवाल हम बात करते हैं क्वालकॉम टेक्नोलॉजीज की जिनका रोल इन दी ऑटोमोटिव स्पेस इज क्लियरली गोइंग अप वेल टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर ऑफ दिस एंड फ्यूचर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन ऑटोमोटिव सेक्टर इसको ज्यादा अच्छे से समझते हैं फ्रॉम नकुल दुगल हु इज द सीनियर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एट ऑटोमोटिव ऑफ क्वालकॉम टेक्नोलॉजीज नकुल गुड यू हैव ऑन द शो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम पहले तो आप हमारे व्यूअर्स को ये बताइए जो रोल uh, है टेक्नोलॉजीज का आज ऑटो सेक्टर में वो कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है और कैसे ये रोल इवॉल्व हो रहा है एज वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ रैपिड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जो कि आ रहा है ऑटोमोटिव स्पेस में व्हेन इट कम्स टू टेक थैंक यू सॉरी फॉर हैविंग मी वंडरफुल टू बी हियर विद यू एंड योर ऑडियंस यू नो ऑटोमोटिव इज गोइंग थ्रू दिस वंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम आई वुड से ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विद देयर इज देयर आर सो मेनी टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट आर बिकमिंग दैट आर बिकमिंग रिलेवेंट फॉर द कार ऑल एट द सेम टाइम इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन कार्स आर बिकमिंग battery electric versus combustion engines the entire car architecture is changing because more electronics are getting added cars are becoming safer they are getting connected to the cloud and all of that brings a lot of opportunity for companies like ourselves who are really rooted in uh, technology disruption we build semiconductors but we put a lot of technology into building these semiconductors whether it is ai cameras video processing graphics the software that pulls it all together so it really is a fantastic time in terms of being part of this overall evolution that's going on in the automotive space okay fair enough it's exciting times clearly just tarah se auto and tech ka blend ho raha hai and increasingly so the demand is going up but uh, tell us nakul uh, qualcom ka yahan role i mean as a tech company uh, the the role that it plays now and kitna critical or important hai in terms of uh, the overall business that automotive brings to qualcom ye hamara jo role hai qualcom ka you know over the years we've always been a creator of ecosystems if you think about our history in the smartphone space we build standards we do core technology development we work with operators and infrastructure vendors globally we work with handset vendors so we are uh, we excel at creating ecosystems and in automotive we have taken the same approach you know automotive in that sense is a market that is very global Uh, every automaker has a footprint across a large variety of markets it's a complex market it is highly regulated it requires a lot of technologies to come together it has a very complex supply chain you know with covid we have gone through as i am sure your audience is aware big crisis in terms of semiconductor availability impacting the automotive supply chain so the role that we play is to be able to create sustainable and highly resilient uh, ecosystems for the auto industry which we've actually been able to very successfully do over the last uh, several years and today the snapdragon digital chassis which is our core portfolio that is what powers the uh, products of a number of our automotive customers hmm. talk about the customers and i want to know that because aap you know this is a technology jo sabhi adopt karna chahenge eventually आप किन प्लेयर्स के साथ अभी काम कर रहे हैं क्लोजली एंड हाउ डू यू सी दैट एक्सपैंडिंग टू बियॉन्ड द कंपनीज दैट यू आर वर्किंग विद एंड ग्लोबली एंड इन इंडिया कहां पर अपॉर्चुनिटीज दिखती हैं यू नो वी वी आर वेरी फॉर्चुनेट यू नो इन टर्म्स ऑफ बीइंग अ ग्लोबल कंपनी विद अ मैसिव फुटप्रिंट वी ऑब्वियसली वर्क विद अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ग्लोबल जायंट्स एंड आई रियली कंसीडर एवरी ऑटो मेकर ऑन द प्लेनेट आवर कस्टमर बिकॉज़ वी सप्लाई सम component or the other to all of these automakers we have, we have a very broad portfolio and that allows us to be able to be very present we obviously are leaders in connectivity 5g is now going into every car we provide wifi chips location chips power line communication chips for electric vehicles so we have a very massive footprint you know most automakers today are also global they have big presence in china they have big presence in various other parts of the world their home markets and our footprint of support our footprint of how we engage with these partners is also very global so uh not only are we focused on uh global customers but in terms of the technology that we provide those in some sense have also become global if you think about uh, wireless connectivity for example we've been supplying 3g into cars for over a decade now the market has evolved to 4g and to 5g this would be one example where every automaker needs a partner like us as they as they go through this technology transition where do they look to who do they get that support from that would be a very good example of how we provide this base level of functionality 
And one of the things that is very exciting for us is as we see cars going through electrification, the entire architecture of the car changes because the car is becoming simpler in a sense, but the architecture is becoming much more software centric, a lot more semiconductors, a lot more functionality going into vehicles. And that transition is actually a global transition, which makes this very interesting. Absolutely. I think a global transition and then the play that it has uh, uh, is, is pretty phenomenal and uh, widespread. Quickly, uh, last question, Nakul. Uh, opportunity is immense. It's no doubt. Uh, you are playing a pivotal role, very big leading uh, there in, in terms of what you give to your, uh, you know, to your uh, clients. Ye, uh, beyond what you're doing today, uh, to mapping into the future of what it will entail, I'm sure you are working on that. The demand of smart chips ki badegi as we are getting more and more uh, automated. So what is the work on What is the future of automobile looking like? And what is the opportunity hai? I think the future is uh, you know, more and more integration of functionality uh, into semiconductors is one big trend that we see. Because we see that technology is going to get uh, deployed across every tier of vehicle. The lowest tiers of vehicle will have a lot of functionality, which basically means you have to be able to bring uh, build products that are very scalable. That is one area that we are spending a lot of time on. The other big area of focus is how to make the car software defined so that you don't have to go redesign the entire hardware architecture of the vehicle every time something changes. So this is an area with the entire industry is actually coming together and doing a lot of work together. I think the third thing is the cloud is becoming very much a part of the overall sensibility of how automakers are thinking about their car architecture. So the car is designed in the cloud. It can be tested in the cloud. There is a virtual component of it before you actually build the vehicle. A lot of these trends intersect and that obviously impacts the overall product life cycle of India. You know, in India, we are doing a lot of work with uh, many local partners, with Mahendra, with Ola, with, uh, uh, with a number of other two-wheeler companies. Uh, big transition going on in India in terms of uh, leapfrogging towards getting to electric, uh, electrification, electric vehicles, electric scooters. That's a big area of focus for us. We are investing in local companies as well. So uh, many different trends are upon us internationally, but also locally. And we are participating in both directions to be able to maximize the impact that we can have. Okay, fair enough. And the semiconductor shortage the uh, concern hai par, us par, uh, kya kahenge? Do you think uh, you can play a role there? Yeah, I think we've been able to stay ahead of uh, the shortages. We've actually done a pretty good job in protecting our automotive customers. We've always prioritized automotive over other businesses, given the importance of the uh, vertical for us. Uh, I think the shortages are getting better. I think there are some process nodes that still have challenges, but overall we are actually seeing uh, the shortages improve from our vantage point, from some of our competitors as well. And we are overall seeing a huge growth in terms of semiconductor uh, adoption, a lot more adoption of semiconductors going on in the, in, the, uh, in the automotive ecosystem. And automakers are becoming much more sophisticated in terms of making sure they build a very resilient supply chain. Okay, absolutely. Thank you so much, Nakul. Thank you. All the best. Thanks. Thank you very much, Swati. Thank you. Thanks so much.